there are no open orders. So what I'd like to do would be in this case uh, sell some Digibyte, turn it into Bitcoin. So if I come over to Bitcoin and look for Digibyte, um, I'll select the transactions. So obviously here I've got 28,000. Uh, in this case I want to go ahead and um, basically sell. So I'm going to select this buy order. So somebody wants to buy 193 digibyte and if I click the sell button it says there's insufficient funds in the wallet of the first currency of the pair which is digibyte I have 20,000 should sell I'm like what's going on here so you know if I select this other one here 367 which would be the sum of those two same same message which is what so basically I'm stuck I can't liquidate this so if I move over to the ethereum exchange here and I'll do the same thing digibyte select that so in this case you know digibyte so there's a order for 3000 so I'll go ahead and select that and I'll say I want to sell 2197 digibyte if I say sell same problem insufficient funds in the wallet um that's absolutely false there's 28,000 so hey man what what do i need to do to you know kind of move this another experiment would be to go the other way which is to say okay is the um dgb wallet broken so what i want to do here is i'm going to go ahead and say i want to do a buy and i'm on the digibyte ethereum so i'll say well here's a little somebody here's somebody offering to sell what maybe 50 units of digibytes 35 and 24 so I'm gonna go enter a quote and I'll say buy and sure enough the buy order is completed which is nice that's great and what happened there is I ended up with a second digibyte wallet so obviously you know the digibyte wallets able to do something so if I go to this digibyte wallet and this one I say minus okay this wallet is online so it's just generated okay so maybe what I could do here would be uh, try to move my digibyte from the offline wallet into the online wallet so let's try that um, so if we come here and we do a plus I'll copy that you are um, private address and if I do a minus withdrawal address paste that in let's do a thousand and we do the wallet withdraw uh, the coin is in maintenance please try again later well that's interesting and unfortunate because now I really can't do much I guess the other thing that I could do would be attempt to you know transfer this digibyte you know content offline so I want to go ahead and uh, Okay, so here's a withdrawal address. Uh, oh, do power, let's do max, 60 point whatever, withdrawal fee, and do the with, withdrawal. Okay, so no problem moving Digibyte from this wallet to my near, you know, to my external out of this newly created account, but this other account is just basically locked down. So I am basically stuck. Thanks again. The other thing I'll observe about the, you know, the wallets here is that, like for example, I got some water, some Theta, some Yoda, some DGB, and Dice, which are all alts. But if I look at these, each one of these wallets is in maintenance mode, and there's absolutely nothing I can do. So this is a little bit of Theta, a uh, little Yoda, maintenance, Digibyte, maintenance, uh, Ethereum, let's see, DICE, maintenance, so the only wallets that are operable are Bitcoin and Ethereum. So um, anyway, obviously if the wallet's in maintenance, there's nothing you can do and there's no specific activity that's offered that enables me to get the wallet or prompt anybody to get a wallet out of maintenance mode. So basically this whole process renders my yobit.io account unusable and untrustworthy. So I, I'm, I would suggest that 
you know, fixing these things or enabling me to trade so I can maintain liquidity is important. Otherwise, I have no reason to, you know, continue to try to use the platform. So thanks for your help.